everybody, it's your boy Chad, and I'm excited. You know why I'm excited? It's my day off. Hey, listen, I'm like y'all. I'm always trolling the internet, seeing what's hot. Well, I've been watching about these smash burgers. I don't know why it's such a new thing. I've been doing smash burgers forever. So I'm going to show you how to do a smash burger at your home in a cast iron skillet. And boy, let me tell you, Renee and Avery loves it. This is in the top three meals that I cook in the home. Smash burgers. And this is what I'm doing. Smash burgers with my famous Bennett sauce. And I got a little uh, medley of vegetables that I steamed with garlic and uh, onions. And oh my goodness, we're going to have a great show today. Stay right here with your boy on Day Off Cooking. What's up everybody, we're going to go ahead and get started like we always do And the star of the show is that ground chuck we got right there in the middle for these smash burgers everybody talking about these smash burgers we're gonna make one tonight um we got some uh garlic onion we got some um peppers we got that broccoli now and i got some ranch dressing some ketchup and i got some pickles um that i'm going to use in this that's not shown and man we're going to put together a smash burger out of this world any ingredients not seen will be in the video. First, we're going to start off with that ground chuck. And we're going to get it in a bowl. And anything you got in your cabinet that's going to make a burger taste good, put it off in there. Mix it up well. And then put a little bit more. <laughs> going to make this thing taste delish. You hear me? Go ahead and loosely roll that ground chuck up in about two inch balls. Because we're going to do this thing in a cast iron pan. So yeah, cast iron skillet. That's where we're going to do it. So roll them up real loose in like a two inch ball. There you have it. They should look something like that. Now we're going to take that broccoli. And we're going to go ahead and lay that thing out there and get those florets real loose. I like that fresh broccoli. You can use frozen if you like, but I like fresh. Then we're going to take us some onion. Oh, there's nothing like the sweet flavor of an onion in a vegetable medley. So we're going to drop some onions off in there. Then we're gonna take some peppers, some red, yellow, oh man, and orange peppers, sweet peppers. And we're gonna dice those things up and we're gonna drop that in there too. We're just doing a rough cut on them. And we're gonna take some of them sweet baby carrots and drop it in there, mix it all up, and we're ready to work now. So you're gonna take your aluminum foil, lay it out, put your veggies in there, Take you some garlic as much as you like or as little as you like and spread it all over those vegetables. Then I got me a little ranch seasoning. <laughs> That's my little secret to help Avery eat those vegetables. And then we're gonna drizzle that thing down with some olive oil. Take that aluminum foil. Look how I do it. Flip, flip, clamp it down real good on one end. Turn it to the other side. Clamp it down real good, and you've got a little steam box for your veggies. It should look something like that. Now we're going to make this Bennett sauce. Woo! Take you some ranch dressing, put it in a bowl with a little bit of ketchup, mix it up really good, and then you're going to take you some hamburger dill pickles. Dice them up. Dice them up. My wife don't like pickles. Avery don't like pickles. But when I dice them up and put it in that Bennett sauce, baby, they love pickles. <laughs> Take you one little squirt 
of mustard just to give it a little tang and mix it on up. What's up guys? Just want to take one minute. Listen, I see that you have been watching my videos, but I need you to take it one step further. It takes about a split second to hit that subscribe button right at the bottom of the screen. Like, subscribe. All this is doing is telling YouTube that you enjoy my videos. And I'm going to keep them coming every week with nice, quick meals that you can make for your family. Come on, guys. Subscribe and help me out. I'll be so grateful. Now we got that cast iron skillet really, really hot. We pulled some olive oil over in there. And now we're going to take that ground truck chuck balls and we're going to lay it in there. And now it's time to start making our smash burger. Let's start smashing, baby. Press it on down with your spatula just like that. Probably would come out a little better with a spatula without the slits in there. But this is the one I got and that's the one I'm going to use. Spread them on out. And when you see that it's like almost done, flip it over on the other side. Now we got all this technology with the meat thermometers and all that. When I was growing up, we didn't have that. You continue to cook the burger until it's gray all the way in the middle and the juices are coming out clear. That's what we did. And most of the time the burger came out really, really tender. Go ahead and take the seasonings that of your choice, put on one side, and when you flip it over, season the other side. Y'all, we eat both sides. <laughs> so you need to season both sides. Flip that thing back over and let those flavors get deep down in that meat. And boy, you gotta smash burger. Let's take it off the heat and set them aside. Now we're going to come back in that same pan and we're going to use it to toast our brioche rolls. Got them fresh from the deli. Put a little butter in the pan. Got the pan kind of nice and hot. So to go ahead and toast those buns real nice and pretty. And I like that little smoky, char type flavor on my buns. Oh yeah, they looking good. Buttery, got that little char like I was talking about. I love it, it gives great flavor. Time to go ahead and pull them veggies on out the oven, baby. They ready. I took a little butter and dropped it in that little slit right there to get it down in the veggies. Now let's put that burger together. We got that Bennett sauce at the bottom and on the top. We're gonna add that smash burger and I got some monster cheese today. Now if you wanna put some other toppings on that burger, you can do it. But we just went like this. Cheese, burger, and veggies. Oh my goodness. I'm about to throw down. Okay, everybody, the meal is done. Listen, Renee and Avery had their burger, and oh my God, there was no conversation at all in the house. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, taste this thing and let you know. Let me let you see what it looks like. We got all that medley of vegetables. Got that burger, smash burger with that monster cheese on there. Oh man, I think this is gonna be delicious. And remember, like I always tell you, if it doesn't taste good, I'm gonna tell you it doesn't taste good. All right, so let's check it out. First thing I'm gonna try is this burger. Let me pick this joker up. Look at that, man, got that Bennett sauce sliding all over to the side. Let's see what it tastes like. Oh my goodness. Now, I don't want to toot my own horn, but that is a burger right there. 
I made sure that 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 uh, ground uh, uh, ground chuck was seasoned very well. Got flavor all the way through. Got that business sauce with those little hamburger pickles and that. Oh man, it's delicious. Now I'm gonna try this vegetable medley. We got broccoli, uh, peppers, onions, garlic, all of that good stuff, and some little baby carrots in there. Let's check that out. Mm -hmm. Oh man, the garlic. I took some of that ranch seasoning and sprinkled all over. You can taste that ranch in there. Man, I got to get a little, more, a little bit more of that. Mmm, the onions are sweet. Y'all, I'm telling you, that is delicious. Like I always tell y'all, you can make an outstanding meal for your family in 30 or 45 minutes. All you got to do is get up and do it. Hey, y'all, it's time for me to go. I have enjoyed myself. I got to get back to this burger. Hey, listen, y'all check me out next week right here with your boy on Day Off Cooking. And I'll see you the next time I'm behind the story. Y'all take care.